uses people like you that think that, oh, we're going to fight the rich while they protect their oligarchy, while you guys have to keep on working hard and never own anything, when we conservatives are the ones that actually want to restore the American middle class and bring jobs back to this country. How would you restore? Hold, let me finish. Let me finish. The, the left uses people like you every day, and they use people on you by the trans thing, the abortion thing. Keep voting for us because the fascists are going to take your rights away. When who's funding the left? The richest people. George Soros. You know rich George Soros? <laughs>
because they talk a good game about building the middle class, but it is not the party of democracy. It's the party of oligarchy. And you can go fact check me tonight. Okay. And you might actually have cognitive dissonance. Type in this. Wealthiest counties in the country. They almost all vote for Joe Biden. Who gives the most political donations to the left? All the wealthy people. Go look up the top billionaires on the Forbes list, the Forbes list, the top 100. Only about 10 of them give the Republican, the other 80 give the Democrat, the other 10 don't give at all. It is mind blowing when you realize the shift in power the last 10 years. Republicans used to be the party of the rich. You know what changed? We nominated a class trader as our nominee, Donald Trump. As soon as Donald Trump became our nominee, all the billionaires said, we don't want him anymore. He talks about things we don't like. He wants to end the wars, close the border, bring jobs back to this country. We want to keep on supporting a political party that doesn't want any of that stuff. Explain to me how Joe Biden represents the working class in this country. He doesn't. He, it's he very much supports the unions. It's a, so, oh, hold on a second. The union or the union bosses? The Big difference. The union bosses support and the rank and file love Trump. The UAW love Trump more than Biden. The Carpenters Union love Trump more than Biden. The police union. The point is this, is that the Democrat Party, they are sitting on a house of cards of young activists that truly want to go like crush the rich. And there is some truth to that. Like there's a very rich oligarchy in this country that remains rich and stays rich off of gaming government systems and public policy. And you guys give them a free pass because you think that we're fascists when in reality we're the ones that are actually fighting to destroy the oligarchy the most all right last question last point yeah. last point um let's say so you do want to fight for the american middle class and that's how, my yes okay, that's how, my how 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 does free freer to market like helps with the well, middle again class? i i want i want precision in free markets but i how want, does uh, how does free markets support the middle again, class? Again, I'm not puritanical, but I think that generally more choices are a good thing. I think that generally supporting entrepreneurs is positive, but I, I think that mass immigration is really bad for American workers. There's no mass immigration. Well, well first of all, how many people are? Wow. Um, like. Well, you're right. What, there is mass, mass invasion, but um, but how, how many people are coming across the southern border every day? I don't know, but like, no, no, it's I'm not actually generally curious. Can you guess? Okay. Um, on what time frame? Every day. Every day. Five hundred. Yeah. It's, it's at a low point. It's at ten thousand right now. It was fifteen thousand last month. So what is that annualized? <laughs> Let's play that out. A lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. So that's mass immigration, right? How many green cards do we give out every year? Probably a lot. Yeah, a lot. About yeah. 1.2 million. Well, right? what's wrong with giving out green cards? I'm not saying anything wrong. No, you okay. said there's no mass migration. So I'm just okay. trying to tell you, we do have mass migration, okay. right? We have 3 million on the southern border, and then we have a million green cards, mm -hmm. right? That's 4 million a year, right? Which is effect basically bigger than most U.S. states. Now, everything comes with a cost. When you have mass migration, you're going to get lower wages. But that means you're going to disenfranchise American workers. What Are you studying computer science? Yeah, I am. OK, so you're an American born, I'm guessing, American raised. I don't, I don't want to assume. I wasn't, but okay. I moved to the US. OK, well, you're an American now, I guess. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, are you I am. Student visa? OK, you're going to ha now have to compete. Uh, you're kind of proving my point, but that's a separate issue. You're now going to have to compete against foreign labor for your computer science jobs. I think we have a moral obligation to American-born workers to give them preference and priority and restrict the labor supply so that our computer science majors can have higher wages, not to have suppressed wages so some tech CEO can uh, bring in a bunch of Indians and suppress their, no, not against Indians, but just you know bring down their wages. Personally, I just think that like if you came to America and then receive a green card, I think you get you get to work however you want. Like, okay, I, yeah, think, I, I think, think that American-born citizens should be And then there be shouldn't given. be a priority because they're American citizens. Well, that, that's, as long what, as you're that's where we're different. Citizen. I actually think you must have a priority to your own citizens or else you don't have a government. You have something else. If you don't have a priority to your own people, I don't know what you have. You have a colony, not a country. You're just a big economy. Mm -hmm. and, that, uh, that, and that's fine if that's your position. By the way, your position is held by the ruling elite where I think that we should have a country, not just a colony, where the American-born citizens should be given preference over foreigners. Nothing against foreigners, I think they're nice people, but the Americans should be given first preference. And by the way, any sane country believes that. We're like the only country in the world that says, and certain European countries, come on in and take whatever you want. Wow, this is beautiful. I just like the um, interaction between um, Charlie and the student because 
um charlie i love his confidence when um speaking in the public when talking to people when advising the college student i love the way he speak with them and to if you are maybe the rich we still have to support the young coming entrepreneur that want to start their own business and to become someone in future because rich rich um organization like big big organization they normally um give funds to the less privileged to the government to some few people during maybe every year or every month so that they can be able to support people that less privileged people that cannot afford so many things like i'm really um shock because this um college student seriously he was just assuming like this is how it is but no some big big organization also support um politicians and less privileged and so many things so they just want us to um some organization wants some some organization does not want people to grow more than they like their workers or employees to grow more than them some also want the organize um the workers and people to grow for the small um entrepreneur you understand so i believe that we should all help ourselves no matter who we are no matter the country no matter the skin color we should all help because we rise by lifting others so i feel that we should help ourselves we the um the we the employees and the um owners of the company should we should all help each other to grow so that's my take on this so guys please subscribe to my youtube channel comment like and share so please any video you want us to react to please comment below on our comment section we'll be right there to read and react to your videos Thank you very much. Enge Fashion Store. Fashion makes sense.